far do you want to ride today, Miles? Um, we're thinking about 90k or, yeah, around that. Probably just under three hours, so that should be a good day. So to make routes and to navigate around here in the Netherlands, there's two tools I'm using which I just wanted to chat about because I'm massive fans of them. So the first part is making the route, finding somewhere to ride, and then the other part is then syncing it and following it on a head unit. So the first part to, to make a route is I'm using the Strava Route Builder. This is a game changer because the way Strava navigates you and chooses your route isn't just based on the most direct. So we can see here on the left-hand side, you can go follow most popular or most direct. If you use pretty much any other routing platform, they usually use the Google bike directions, which will, yes, put you on bike paths, but not necessarily the most popular way to get from A to B. They're just saying get from A to B as directly as possible on bike paths, preferably. Whereas the Strava route, route better will get you from A to B, but taking in the most popular way. So it's absolutely invaluable. So what I do is I come over when I'm trying to find somewhere to ride, I'll come over to the route builder. I'll put it on most popular. I'll also put it on paved surfaces only. And then I also toggle on the global heat map here. So I can get an idea of uh, where people generally, generally like to ride. So you can see blue dot here is where we are. So I'll drop my first pin there. Miles wants to do about 90K. So what I will do is come around and just basically pick where I want to ride, where it looks interesting. So I kind of had a look around and sometimes along the water is quite nice. So I'll just literally go, it'd be nice to follow this uh, sort of river thing here, canal. So I'll just sort of click up here. Now, if this was Google, a Google-based mapping system, it wouldn't necessarily take me this way. It would just take me the most direct way, which might not be the way most people ride. So just the data engine that Strava has makes the routes it gives so much better. And I'll just sort of click along here. It'll be nice to sort of follow the water. And then I'll just drop a few more pins along the way so we can get to about a 90 kilometer route. If I click there and then click back home again, that's 87. I can see here though, it might be nice to come off this main road and come through some of these quieter sort of farm roads. So if I just sort of drag and drop there, uh, that's got a, that's about 82K. Um, and that looks like a pretty good route. So the good thing obviously about the Netherlands, I can go in any direction and it'll be a good ride. So then what I'm gonna do is save this and then I'll upload it in our group chat so the other guys can see it. All they have to do is open up the route, click the star button in the bottom right. Now I've already pressed this because I made the route, but all they would do is press that. And then if you've got a Wahoo head unit, all you do is turn the head unit on, go to the element app, choose a route, and there it is. It syncs automatically. So there's no, absolutely you don't need to do anything. Now I think that only works if you have Strava Premium, but to me, just the ease of use here is so good. So then I can just press this, select, and load up onto my head unit. Easy as that. All right, so I'm gonna kit up, get on the bike, and we'll go out and test this route. See you on the bike. parked up at a cafe getting a drink. That was really good. So as you can tell from some of the clips, awesome route. Now I've just got an original old school element bolt. The routes that I sync for some reason don't have the turn by turn navigation. And this is just a black and white, real basic screen. But for me, that's totally fine. I don't have any issues just following the chevrons along the map, turn by turn, hardly ever uh, make a wrong turn. So I don't feel like I need that turn by turn navigation. So yeah, the, the, the newer version roams and with the color screens and things like that, I don't really feel necessary. I've got absolutely no problem with this old school element bolt. Going out for another hour, Ben. Yep. Not enough on the clock. Catch you later. Stay safe.
pro drink mix for a mm. supermarket home brand. Yeah. Crazy cold Right, Ben, you got an exam tomorrow. You were just telling me that the process you have to do because I was like, well, couldn't you just cheat? You know. So what's the what's the process? Uh, one of the requirements is that your computer needs to have good enough internet um, and be fast enough so that they can use the internet to take control of the laptop so that they know you're not just like Googling things and, and that sort of thing. But I have to film the whole room that I'm in, like the desk area and everything. I have to use either a phone or a separate camera to show that there's nothing on the laptop or you know, any way of basically having answers or anything. It's a pretty, pretty arduous, lengthy process. So two hours. Yeah, two hours. Two hours of the day. That's fascinating. It's by like this is actually the first time I've done an exam of this kind. So we had one earlier in the semester, but it was just like open book. You've just got an hour or whatever to do it. Well, I think that changed drastically when the average score for the mid-semester one was like 96%. <laughs> so, um, I, yeah, I think they realised they had to make it harder. Yeah. What's looking good, Nana? This is my favourite. Wait till it comes in. And the milk or chocolate's great. <laughs> yeah. Might have to do a whole video in here in a couple of days. Do a little tour. Secret message. So, on yesterday's video, 25% of the people that watched it weren't subscribed to the channel. So, if you're seeing this part of the video and you've watched this far in and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. And as I see that sub count go up, it lets me know that what I'm doing is working. So I'd really appreciate if you did that. That's it for today, guys. Catch you all tomorrow.